Okay. <clears throat> so, all right. So I just calculated that. Fy of negative 1,000 creates a shear stress of 1.061 in the negative y direction. Um, and so real quickly, I had Fz, uh, but it was zero. Uh, and so it would have created a, an n over a, a uniform. didn't matter whether I was looking at point a, point b, point c. It would have had a uniform uh, force. Uh, but it, of course, it, if the n is zero, then that stress is zero. Okay, now let's look at this mx. Now I think these are the hardest ones. I've got an mx, an internal moment of 200,000 newton millimeters. And that's a positive 200,000 newton, mill, newton uh, millimeters, and it could create an my over i. It could create an my over i. Okay, so positive moment in the positive x direction. All right, using my right hand, I am going to curl my fingers in the positive x direction. So I'm, I'm kind of, you can't see this obviously, I'm curling my fingers in the x direction. I'm kind of putting my uh, palm on this end and I'm, I've kind of got my fingers, my four fingers on this end and my thumb is pointed out, <laughs> you can't see that. My thumb is pointed in the X direction. What type of bending moment would this cause? If this was a pool noodle and I could really bend this, do you see that it would bend back this way? It would bend back this way. It would bend towards me if I'm looking at it from behind there, all right? It would bend towards me from looking at it from behind. Uh, think about compression and tension. There would be some compression on this side of the beam. There would be some tension on this, but at point A, there would be nothing. There would be nothing. Uh, I should have, should have drawn, this is my neutral axis right there. The X axis is my neutral axis. Uh, let's kind of go back to these neutral axes. The neutral axis where the bending moment is the bending moment, is the direction of the bending moment. So for my X bending moment, X is the neutral axis. One side of it is going to be compression, one side of it is going to be tension, but the value at the neutral axis is zero. Here, zero, 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 zero. Anywhere on the neutral axis is going to be zero. Uh, you can think about that because the y, that's the distance from the neutral axis to the point you're interested in. Well, that's, if it's on the, there, uh, it, it's going to be zero. So this is zero because of point A. You know, if it was at point B right here, uh, it'd be compression. And I'd do the my over i. If it was, if it was at point C over here, it would be tension. And I'd do the my over i. If it was at point D over here, it would still be zero, just like it is at A. All right, so this moment, even though there is a moment there, at point A, there's no stress due to it. Okay, at point, or sorry, let's look at the next moment, the moment in Y. The moment in Y, M, M Y is positive 300 thousand newton millimeters it could create an my over i so let's think about a y bending moment all right so this this that i drew this bending it would bend towards this person looking at it from the back side uh if that's a y moment uh but sorry that was the next moment that was the next moment that was the next moment but my y bending moment my y bending moment would cause this to bend, sorry, would cause this to bend th this way towards a person looking at it from here, right? It would cause this to bend this way. Put your thumb in the positive y direction, kind of bend that pool noodle, um, and it would bend out this way. It would bow out, right? Over here, it would be tension. Over here, it would be compression. Let me draw that neutral axis. Right there, the neutral axis for bending moments is the axis, is the y axis. So for a y bending y moment, that y is the neutral axis. Uh, so there'd be nothing on the neutral axis. But yes, over here out at A, there would be an my over i. 
at point A. If look at point A, there will be an MY over I. The M, 300,000 Newton millimeters. The Y, Y is the distance from the neutral axis to the point I'm interested in. That would be 20, All right? That would be the radius. And then the I, I've already calculated that somewhere, 1 fourth pi R to the fourth. Uh, this I would get to be 47.7 MPa. Uh, it is a sigma, not a tau, it's a normal stress, sigma. And uh, tension or compression, tension or compression, could you see that a positive Y moment would cause compression? I start with compression. Positive mo Y moment would, would pinch in this half of it, but it would be tension in the half that I'm looking at for part A, it would be tension. Okay. All right, and then last moment. We're almost there. You can see the light. All right. Last moment. <clears throat> MZ. MZ of negative 600,000 Newton millimeters. It could cause a shear stress of T over J. Uh, what would that look like? Uh, a negative Z moment. A negative Z moment. A negative Z moment wouldn't bend it. It would twist this beam. A negative Z, think about using my right hand. Uh, negative, let's see, that would be positive Z. Negative Z would be that way, that way, that way, that type of shear stress. That type of shear stress. So at point A, T R over J. The T is 600 thousand newton millimeters the r how far is my point away from the center of the middle dead middle center of rotation uh it would be the radius and j is one half uh pi r to the fourth all right one half pi r to the fourth so this would be a tau 47.7 usually will not be the same value as what we got previously um but it was for that case. Uh, so I've tau of 47.7. What direction? <clears throat> what direction? Because, you know, I, I might could combine it with this one. I need to know the direction that it is in. The direction, see how I drew it right here? In the negative y direction. In the negative y direction. Okay, we're not done. We, I mean, we did very good so far. Right, that stress caused by that moment, that stress caused by that moment, zero stress caused by that one, zero caused by that one, that stress and zero. So some of them will be zero because it was zero to begin with, some of them will be zero because of the point you're looking at. Now you need to combine, that's the, that's the whole point of this section, combine all the similar stresses in similar directions. Let me combine all the normal stresses together. So this bending stress, 47.7 tension, okay, that one was zero. Oh, and that one was zero. So all three of those, uh, there was actually only one. So 47.7 MPa in tension. That is my shear stress at point A at the cut AA. All right, but my tau, let me combine taus if they're similar stresses in similar directions. All right, so 47.7 in the negative Y and 1.061 also in the negative Y. And then zero, that would have probably been in a different direction anyway. Uh, so, but anyway, I can combine those, and I can I combine those that add up to 48.8 MPa, and I want you to put in the negative y direction, in the negative y direction, and that's it. That's it. We did it. But you know, take a step back. Maybe I'll let you do this on your own. Go back, make sure you can find the internal forces, internal moments, and then take each one of those and figure out what type of stress it is, uh, the equation for that stress, but then you got to think about what point you're looking at. Sometimes it'll be zero just because, you know, the, that the shear stress at point A is zero for this one. Um, go back and look at the, the, these, these, these statements right here about where the neutral axis is for each of those 
and then what is happening at the neutral axis. That really helps me to draw the neutral axis in this scenario. And then I'm like, oh, okay, there's no bending stress happening at the neutral axis. So if I'm on the neutral axis, then you don't have to worry about that. Or uh, look at the neutral axis for my shear. Um, and there is definitely shear stress on the neutral axis. In fact, that's, that's where the maximum is going to be. Um, but on those very, very leading and trailing, right, let's see right here. Yeah, on this leading and trailing edge, or in this case, right there and right there, those are going to be your zero points of shear stress. So drawing those neutral axis, axes and kind of figuring out, you know, what's happening on the neutral axis is very helpful. So see if you've got ended up with this right here. All right.